Hello everyone and welcome back to the Green Developer Channel. This week I want to share with you three small macOS utility apps that I use all the time to make my life a lot easier. So let's get right to it. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and if you want to see more like it, hit subscribe. Number one, and the first thing I will install on any Mac, no competition, Magnet. Magnet is a pretty simple but also very powerful tool that allows you to snap your windows to different sections of your screen and even use keybinds to be able to do that. Now I know it, like half the people watching this video are screaming internally right now, Windows has had that forever. And you know you're right, so you win that one, Windows, congratulations. But unfortunately, I don't decide which OS I use and work with every day based on the fact that it has or doesn't have Windows snapping out of the box. So unfortunately, I'm kind of stuck having to find other ways to make it work on Mac OS. And Magnet does an incredible job at fixing that missing feature. It offers a great range of variations on how you can position your windows and how you can keybind everything to make it really simple and easy to use. And I think for most cases that you might actually need window snapping, whatever you might be doing, you'll probably find something that works well for you within Magnet. For example, if I'm working with an Xcode and coding something that works with a server that I need to monitor, just having the ability to quickly use a keybind to have Xcode take two thirds of the screen and then a terminal take the other third of the screen so I can monitor whatever is happening on the server is something I can't imagine living without anymore. It also obviously allows you to drag things to one side or the other of the screen and have it snap to that side of the screen or to the top of the screen and have it fill out the whole screen like you would kind of expect on Windows. If you're coming from Windows, you'll know how much you use that kind of feature and if you've been a diehard Mac fan forever and you've never seen something like that, once you've actually used it, you really can't live without the ability to do something so simple so easily. It's really cheap at four bucks and I know you're gonna be upset that it's not available out of the box, but honestly at four bucks, it's not a big deal and it's really a no-brainer to give it a try. Number two, copy clip. A clipboard manager that allows you to go back in history of things that you've copied before while using the app. It's a really good example of a utility that's so simple you might not have thought about the fact that you need it, but once you've used it for a while you realize how much it's actually doing for you. If you're doing any type of work that requires copying and pasting a bunch of stuff throughout the day, like I think basically everybody is, you really should take a look at it. For example, when I'm programming and I'm looking for ways to fix a problem I have and I have a couple different options that I end up finding online, I'll just copy them all to my clipboard and then go through copy clip after and paste every options and then decide from there. It kind of streamlines your work while you have to do a lot of copy pasting and it makes it so you don't have to jump back and forth between a bunch of different applications. You can just copy everything you need all at once and then go through your clipboard after and your history to just copy everything you need after. You can obviously reach the same effect by using the normal copy paste and going back and forth between Google and whatever you're working on. But once you've actually used copy clip, you'll realize that there's so much more efficient ways of doing that. And something as small as having a history of everything you copied is going to be amazing to make your whole work process feel a lot more seamless. Oh, and it's free. So again, a complete no brainer to actually try it and just, you know, just have it open in case it comes up at some point that you might actually need to use it. Number three, and if you've seen some of my other videos, you know, I'm kind of a nerd about trying to improve your efficiency and make your workflow feel easier and faster while working on the computer. Whatever I'm doing, whether it's editing, programming, or writing a script for a video, or just browsing the internet, I'll always be looking at ways to use keybinds and other tricks like that to make my workflow feel better and more efficient and faster. And I haven't found anything that helps me reach that and you know learn new shortcuts as much as Cheat Sheet has. You might have guessed from the name of it, but Cheat Sheet is a really simple utility app that just allows you to see all the available shortcuts in the app that you're using. All you have to do is hold the command key for a little bit and you'll see all the shortcuts that are inside the menus at the top of your screen show up nicely and neatly separated on your screen. That way you never have to take your hands off the keyboard when you're actually trying to learn new shortcuts. What usually ends up happening if I'm not using Cheat Sheet and I'm trying to learn new shortcuts is 
I always use the mouse to go back to the menu and find the shortcut that I'm trying to learn. But what ends up happening is I just build up the habit and the muscle memory of using the mouse to go into the menu to open whatever shortcut I'm trying to use. While using cheat sheet, you really just open it and you kind of get into the muscle memory of actually using the shortcut as soon as you're thinking about using it, which is the best way possible to learn them and become more efficient at what you're doing. Again, it's another app that's completely free and so a no-brainer to actually give it a try and see if you like it. It's not intrusive at all and you can set it up so that it will absolutely never pop up unless you really definitely want to open it. And so again, it's a no-brainer to just have it working in the background and just use it whenever you think about it. All right, I hope this was helpful to some of you out there. If you haven't heard of some of these on there or you haven't given them a try, I highly encourage you to at least see if you might like them. The free ones are really something that you should try just in case you might end up liking it. If there's any utilities that you like using, make sure to leave a comment down below and let me know because I'd love to learn about other small projects and utilities like that that make your life easier. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more like it, make sure to hit subscribe. And if you would like to support this channel even more, you can take a look at the Patreon that's linked down below. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you all next week. And until then, take care.